Good morning. It is time for the Martin Morning Report. I'm Derek Martin, soon to be joined by my co-host, Duncan Martin. He may bl- bring his co-host, Blanket and Pillow. Oh, there he is. And we're also joined by Trophy, right? Aren't we, aren't we Duncan? Yeah. All right, he's got to go get his, uh, he's gotta go get his bowl of cereal. But we're going to start out today. It is five fast things from Saturday in the world of KMA sports. Performance of the day, right, Duncan? We start with the performance of the day. Sneak your head on through there, will you? Another trophy won this weekend. Very good. Rockport girls, Maryville boys, track and field teams, big showings at sectionals. Rockport won sectional championship with 91 points and will send 12 events onto the state track meet. They had three sectional champions, individual sectional champions. Going to try to save you there a little bit. That was a little close to the edge. Also, East Atchison sending seven, Worth County seven, Platte Valley six, Mound City and King City, and Nottoway Valley and Albany four each, Stanbury three, South Hold one, Maryville girls will send seven, and Savannah sends on five to the next round as well. Maryville boys had 14 qualifiers. They're also a performer of the day, 116 points, winning the sectional, three sectional champions. Mound City had 10, Worth County seven, Platte Valley six, Stanbury, Rockport four, Albany five, Nottoway Valley three, North Andrew two, East Atchison two, and North Nottoway, King City, and Savannah all sending one on to the next side, North Nottoway, King City, of course, on to state. Number two in soccer over the weekend, what are you doing? Lewis Central boys capped off their undefeated regular season. Eat your food with a strong 1-0 win over Heelan, while Kepper Catholic rolled to a win over East Sac County behind two goals from Carson Canny. St. Albert girls also beating Heelan 4-3 in a shootout. Kemper shut out Atlantic three games, or three to nothing, three goals to nothing. Tennis, number three, number three, tennis, boys substate from the weekend. Shenandoah, Kemper, Heelan, Sergeant Bluff, Luton are all still alive. Shenandoah swept Clarinda and Atlantic after Atlantic beat Seidel to advance. North Polk is next. Kemper Catholic beat Denison Sleswig 5-1, then Glenwood 5-3 after Glenwood handled Audubon in five straight. Sergeant Bluff Luton swept through Esterville Lincoln Central and Lamars in dominant fashion. Heelan swept Storm Lake and then Edge Spirit Lake for a rematch with her MRC rival. And number four, baseball. East Atchison won in walk-off fashion in district play, 6-5 over Albany. Uh, Parker Livengood was the one who had the walk-off hit. Alex Erickson and Blake Simmons had two hits each. Northeast Nottoway advanced on as well, while King City won a wild one in 11 innings. They played till past midnight. Can you believe that? I can't, I can't believe that. He can. They beat Gilman City in 11. Plattsmouth, meanwhile, in the state tournament on Saturday, lost a heartbreaker to Gretna East. They'll be back in consolation play today. Number five, Other news, Jeanette Schraff is a Big 12 champion in the steeplechase. Noah Jorgensen, formerly of Sydney, won the ARC 1500. Coon Rapids Bear and Underwood Baseball, number one in the Iowa High School Baseball Coaches Association poll released this morning, which, by the way, baseball begins today in Iowa. And Jim Hughes Real Estate KMA Land Athlete of the Week Award goes to Carson (laughs) Oberender of Martinsdale St. Mary's and our guy, the man, Sam Clements of Elmwood Murdoch. The dude has been fantastic. I do have one final little run through I want to talk about because this is all from Saturday. We did not have a Saturday Martin morning report. Let me just read some headlines from Friday in case you missed it. In boys soccer, trainer and Dennison Sleswig rolled the wins while Riverside Tri-Center Sergeant Bluff Luton and the Mars were also victorious. In girls soccer, AL and trainer were one nothing winners. Low scoring affairs there for them. Lamar's won in overtime. For trainer, it was a win over St. Albert. For AL, a very impressive win over Glenwood. Also on Friday in KMA Land Baseball, Nottoway Valley and Platte Valley advanced on in district play. In tennis, Clarinda, Lewis Central, Denison Sleswig, and Kemper advanced on in regional action. In boys tennis, five Missouri KMA Landers advancing on to states. Let's tell you who they are. From Savannah in singles, Cole Horton. And then doubles, Brighton Curry and Aiden Davies. And then also a doubles team, Case and Teal and Jackson Staples of Maryville back to state as well. In girls golf, Red Oak, Shenandoah were among nine KMA land teams advancing on to regional finals from girls golf. The others, let's see if we can count them. All right, so we got Red Oak and Shenandoah. Mount Air is three. Mount Air is three. They were a regional champion. Sydney was a regional champ. Riverside, St. Albert, that's six. We've got six so far, right, Duncan? Keep those in your head. Martinsdale St. Mary's was a regional champion, seven. And then Nottoway Valley was the runner-up. They've got eight. 
Keep on slamming that head. And number nine, Skepper Catholic. They were a regional runner-up as well. Those are the nine regional teams, regional final teams from KMA Land in girls golf. Also, Grant Stapps is was named the new Shenandoah track and field head coach on Friday. That's uh, pending board approval later today. Atlantic alum Grant Reed was named one of the University of Iowa's Big Ten Medal of Honor recipients. KMA Land boys qualified 274 events for states, and the girls totaled 227 qualifiers for state as well. Trevor Mater put those together. I think there were a couple that were missed, so I don't know if those numbers are exactly correct, but they're close. They're close, and he will have coverage if he remembers his pants. Thursday, Friday, Saturday at the state track meet in Des Moines. We hope you have a great Monday. We'll be back tomorrow with a full rundown of all the happenings in KMA land with the latest Martin Morning Report.